Hi, we're now talking to Dr. Joel Lehman um, on extinction events and the acceleration in evolution. So, um, Dr. Lehman, could you just sort of give us a summary of the paper, please? Sure, I'd be happy to. Um, so, the paper is basically about the intersection of um, extinction events, which are when there's some kind of evolutionary catastrophe that wipes out a large proportion of uh, species in a, in a particular ecology and the intersection of that and the speed of evolution. And the intuitive idea might be that if there's an extinction event or a series of extinction events like happened on Earth, then evolution might slow down or it might be actually an impediment to evolution. So just discarding wholesale a large percentage of all the genetic material on Earth seems like it would be sort of something that would set back the process of evolution. And what we found was actually that this process of repeated extinction events could actually accelerate evolution. And we investigated this not in the real world, um, because that would be, uh, what's, what's the word, uh, unethical probably to sort of wholesale destroy things. Um, but instead we used a mathematical model as well as a model in what's called evolutionary robotics in which you simulate an ev evolutionary process and attempt to evolve behaviors for robots. So it's sort of an, an AI kind of application that has an analogy to nature but it's not nature exactly. And in both of these models we found that the extinction events would actually accelerate evolution. And the conclusions from the research are basically that perhaps Natural evolution also could be sped up in some sense by extinction events. Um, and also just in terms of a practical application, the, these could be used in, in AI research to help develop uh, more sophisticated robotic behaviors. So the paper is saying that the extinction events are actually very positive for evolution. Yeah, yeah, positive, and so uh, just because this has sort of been mentioned on a couple of blogs that, that talk about the paper, it's not necessarily um, positive in a sense that uh, we should embrace extinctions and that, that, you know, in terms of human impact on ecology, that, you know, we should celebrate that we're causing, you know, certain animals go extinct, um, but it's, it could actually accelerate evolution in some sense, so that's not necessarily a good sense in terms of morality, but good in terms of... Uh, evolution's uh, effectiveness, perhaps. So understand why you're using computers and robots rather than real life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, just wondering, um, what was the basis for creating the artificial intelligence in the robots and things? Um, so are you using algorithms, or is it based on anything that's happening, really? Or Yeah, so um, we use uh, an abstraction of biological brains called artificial neural networks. And it simulates at some gross abstraction um, what individual neurons in a brain do, and it wires them together and connects them somewhat similarly to how an organism might have a brain connected to a body, um, to, a, to a robot's uh, morphology. So it can actually control the robot's um, motors, and it gets sensory input from uh, the simulated environment. And the idea is that an evolutionary process could construct brains over time that would control a robot to do something uh, perhaps of use. Wow. And so what, are there any limitations to this, or is it pretty much foolproof? Oh, uh, so the techniques we use right now operate on, on relatively tiny brains. So these neural networks uh, in the paper, uh, the paper perhaps had uh, 30 or 40 neurons in them, and this is on many scales of magnitude less than, for example, the human brain, which has billions of neurons. Um, so it's a challenge to sort of scale these algorithms up to try to mimic something uh, as ambitious as human level intelligence. Um, so something like that is probably pretty far away. Okay, and so what that brings us on to, so what's next for this research? That's a good question. Um, so one part of the research is probing sort of biological analogies. So um, there could be other sorts of biological processes you try to, to probe from a computational point of view. Um, 
but I guess I'm more interested in this underlying idea of evolvability, which is one thing that um, is just basically the speed of evolution, and we found that the extinction events could um, increase this quantity. And it'd be interesting to find other mechanisms that would also increase this evolvability thing because it's one thing that's holding back um, this particular line of research, evolutionary robotics, that I'm involved with. And any sort of mechanism that could further increase evolvability would be very interesting. Oh, that's really interesting. Um, thank you again for talking to us. Um, we'll put the link to your website below and we'll also put a link to the paper. Um, thank you again. Thank you.